So, good evening guys. So, happy new year po ulit sa ating lahat. Ha? So, ngayong 2020, sisimulan po natin ang ating second grading na ng school year 2021, 2020 to 2021. Gamit po ang ating self-learning module galing sa regional office ng Defed Calabar. So, na, uh, ito po yun. Okay. So, before we proceed to our week 1 lesson, na, so, at magkaroon muna tayo ng walkthrough para sa ating self-learning modules. At ito ay matat makikita nyo na sa ating Google Classroom. Okay? So, ito po siya. Okay? So, ito po ay ginawa ng ating Deped Calabarzon Curriculum and Learning Management Division. Ito ay tinatawag natin milk based self-learning module. So, self-learning phase po ito. So, ito po yung content ng ating mga uh, first pages. Okay. Then, here is our week 1 topic. Linear inequality in two variables. Okay. So, kung... Nung ating first quarter, tayo po ay nag ng linear equation into variables in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. Ito yung tinatawag nating uh, slope-intercept form. Ba? And ax plus by equals c. At ito naman yung tinatawag nating standard form. So, for today's lesson, it is a linear equality in two variables where in the graph is not a line but a region okay region na po remember that in equality the relational symbols are we have the less than kapag kaliwa then greater than kapag kanan so tandaan yun ha greater than kanan less than kaliwa Okay, so ito naman po yung mga difference between the graphs. If the graph is uh, y is equal to x, so ito po yung line niya. Ibig sabihin, the value of y and the value of x is equal. So for example, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. And so forth and so on. We have negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 2 and so forth and so on so kaya nga siya line may arrow continuous yun okay? then if the graph is y is less than x less than ha less than so dash line ang gagamitin natin na line dash line and then since that is less than less than siya ibig sabihin yung region yung shaded part ay nasa below the line below the line so yun yung ating solutions or the solution set is below the line then if the graph is greater than or equal to x so solid yung ating line solid ang line ano? then above the line yung ating region ibig sabihin ang solution set ay above the line Okay, so kom at solid yon compare dito sa ating walang or equal to yung less than lang so iyon naman ay dash line so yun po yung pagkakaiba ng ating graphs okay so for learning task one ang gagawin niyo lang dito ay give the equation or inequality described by each region so for example ito so itong line na to ay nag touch dun sa 3 ng x. Then, dito naman sa number 2, nag-touch yung line sa positive 2 ng y. Then, dito naman, at ito'y solid line. Then, nasa taas yung shaded part. Then, ito naman ay nag-touch sa negative 2 ng x. At ang shaded part ay nasa uh, right side or left side ng line. Okay? So, kayo na pong bahala mag-describe ng graph na ito. Okay? Then, 
you can present the solution of inequality or on two variables by graphical form to graph here are some steps sabi nga write first the inequality in equation form equation form muna ha then determine the x and y intercepts or find any two points that will satisfy the equation connect the two points or connect the points by a line or broken line depending on the inequality symbol choose a test point on each on either side of the line and substitute to the inequality to determine if which point may satisfy the inequality then shade the regions where the point satisfies the inequality so as you can see for example itong graph ng 2x plus y so susulat muna natin siya in equation form so 2x plus y is equal to 4 then get the x and y intercept so the y intercept is 4 if x is equal to 0 so 0 4 then f if, if uh, y is equal to 4 y is equal to 0 pala so the value of x is 2 so 2 0 then connect the points and since that is that it is a neg uh, less than so ibig sabihin na sa lower ng line natin ito yung lower so ito yung, yung shaded part now to check we have 3, 3. So, therefore, substitute the value of x, 3, and substitute the value of y, which is 3. So, we have 6 plus 3 is less than 4, which is false. So, narito kasi siya yung 3, 3. Ano? And then, if, if we have 0, 0, so the value of x is 0 and the value of y is 0. So, 0 plus 0 is less than 4, which is true. Narito siya sa lower part nung line diba? so narito siya okay so therefore that is uh, the solution okay then for number 2 we have uh, y is greater than or equal to x minus 3 so ito yun. okay x minus 3 so therefore so, ito na yung ating two points, the x and y intercepts. So, connect the points. And since that is greater than, so nasa taas yung shaded part. At ito na po yun. Aha. So, if we have 0, negative 5, ito yung test points natin. So, negative 5 is greater than or equal to negative 3. Is it true or false? And that is false kasi narito siya. Na. Negative 5 negative 3 so ito yung negative 5 natin negative 5 negative 3 so ito yun Naha. and 0 negative 3 so that is true okay? so yun po yung ating solution yan and then so let us have another example for this let's say ito gamitin natin Let's say uh, we have uh, y is greater than x plus 2. Yan, ano? So, meaning to say, uh, so, gawa tayo ng graph. Yan. Rectangular coordinate system. And then, uh, if y is equal to 0, therefore, the value of x is, isulat muna natin siya in equation form. y is equal to x plus 2. Okay? Then, if y is equal to 0, so therefore, 0 equals x plus 2. So, we have x is equal to negative 2. Ba? x is equal to negative 2 so therefore yung ating first point ay negative 2, 0 ito yung ating x intercept so negative 1, negative 2 so ito yun 
And then, the second point, if x is equal to 0, so we have y is equal to x, x, yun na yung x natin, so 0 na siya, plus 2, so y is equal to 2. So therefore, our second point is 0, 2. At ang ating 0 to i, 1, 2. So ito yun. Ano? Then connect the two points. Connect the two points. And then, since that is less than, ibig sabihin nasa lower part. So ito yun, ang ating ang ating uh, what we call this the solution set ah uh, take note class since that is uh, less than uh, less than lang so dash line lang to ha dash line so putol putol dapat to putol putol okay so dash line na na dash line yan huwag kalilimutan yun ha now let us have the test points now test points so, ito ay 2, 0, 2, 0. O kung 0, 0. If we have 0, 0. The test points. So, 0 is less than 0 plus 2. So, 0 is less than 2. Is it true or false? Very good. That is true. So, therefore, ito kasi yung ating 0, 0. Uh, pag nada naman sa taas halimbawa ay divide by 3 uh, lagi sabihin na natin 3 0 if 3 0 kung 3 0 naman so we have 0 0 is less than value ng x ay 3 so 3 plus 2 so we have 0 0 is less than 5. Is it true or false? And that is false. Very good. That is false. So, therefore, kasi ito yun. Ano? So, yung nasa task na yon hindi siya solution set. Ganun lang. Kasimple. Ano? So, ganun din ang mang gagawin nyo mangyayari dun sa ating sa ating learning task 2 which is test points uh, wherein dito, isasubstitute nyo lang yung uh, value ng x and y dun sa ating inequality. At kung siya ay true, so therefore, siya ay order pair or solution set. Then, sa atin naman ang learning task 3, so ito, igagraph nyo yan. Okay. So, graph the inequality. And then, uh, for learning Task 4 naman, so graph the two inequalities on the same coordinate plane. Then shade the region where the graphs overlap. So, yan. Okay? So, yan. So, ngayon, mag, magbigay pa tayo ng another example ng linear inequalities. Okay? Another example pa. Paano natin isosolve ang linear inequalities? Ano? So, for example, let's say we have uh, 3x plus 5y is greater than or equal to 15. So, yan. Halimbawa, ganyan yung ating linear inequality. Sana. Okay. So, once again, isusulat muna natin siya in equation form. Okay. Equation form muna. So, we have in equation form, so we have 3x plus 5y is equal to 15. Okay? And then, kunin natin yung x and y intersects. Kunin natin. So, therefore, x intersect muna. So, if y is equal to 0, if y is equal to 0, so let's say we have 3x plus 
5 times 0 equals 15. So, therefore, we have 3x plus, plus 0, 0 na siya, equals 15. So, nagkakaroon na lang tayo. 3x is equal to 15. So, divide both sides by 3. So, x is equal to 5. So, therefore, our first point is 5, 0. X-intercept natin siya na. 5, 0. Then, how if we have x is equal to 0? Kung x naman ang 0. So, we have 3 times 0 plus 5y is equal to 15. Okay? So, therefore, we have 0 plus 5y is equal to 15. So, 5y is equal to 15. Divide both sides by 5. So, cancel natin. So, y is equal to 3. So, therefore, our y-intercept is 0, 3. Na, 0, 3. Then, this time, sa ating graph, gawa tayo ng graph. Okay. Then, we have 5, 0. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito yun. Na, na. And then, we have 0, 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, yun. Then, connect the two points. Ngayon, yung ating points ay, or yung ating given ay greater than, greater than or equal to. So, therefore, solid line yung ating... ruler. So, solid line yung ating ating ano, graph. Ano? So, yan. And then, since that is greater than or equal to, so, ibig sabihin na sa taas yung ating region. At iyon ang ating solution set. Okay? So, ganun lang kadali. Ngayon, let us have the test points. Test points. Test points tayo, ha? So, for our test points, let's say we have 0, 0. 0, 0. If we have 0, 0, so 3 times 0 plus 5 times 0 if greater than or equal to 15. That is 0 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 15. And that is 0. So, that is false. Very good. False yun. Ano na? Ano kaya ang pwedeng maging true? Let's say we have, sabihin natin, 4, 4. O 4, 4. Kung 4, 4 naman siya, 4, 4 na. Ang ating test points. So, 4, 4 naman, let's say we have 3 times 4 plus 5 times 4 great, greater than or equal to 15. So, we have 12 plus 20 is greater than or equal to 15. And that is 32 greater than or equal to 15. And that is true. Okay, so true yun. Ano? So, yun ang ating test points. So, ibig sabihin, yung graph na yun na nasa taas, Yon, yon ay solution na set. Okay? So, yun lang po. So, diba? Napakasimple lang ng ating ng ating given. Ano? Okay? So, once again, hanggang sa muli. So, maraming salamat ha, sa inyong lahat at sana ay patulong itong aking munting video. Okay? So don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell of our TV channel and like our video. Or uh, you can leave your comments to our video. Okay? So, again, we're going to leave. Maraming salamat po.